Hello, so continuing on this B-Weekly Contest 16, um, the third problem, deepest leave sum, um, it's problem number 1302. And so the problem says we get a binary tree and we want to return the sum of values of its deepest leaf, leaves. And so deepest here, the meaning is just the leaves in the final level. So five here and six are not, don't count because they are not in the last level. They are leaves, but not the deepest level, which is the, the level where we have 7 and 8. So how can we solve this problem? So you can see here by saying, by just explaining the problem, I said deepest level, so 7 and 8. And so whenever you have a problem that deals with levels, you need to think right away about using DFS. Um, DFS also will, would probably work. So we'll look at two solutions that do DFS and BFS. And so, so the BFS solution would simply do the following. We will keep track of each, the sum at each level, and then, um, and then we could just return the last level's sum, right? That's pretty much it. The other way to do it um, is just like, let's keep the, the elements in each last level, and then return the content, do the sum for the last level. We will do both, and then you can see, you will see how, how it works. So normal BFS um, is just, we need to define our, um, we need to define our, uh, so BFS, there are two ways to do it, one using level by level and one using just one queue. But since here we are interested in the level content, the last level's content, we will use um, level by level. So we would have our queue first and then the last level that we are interested in, right? So the first way I'm going to do it is just using, keeping track of the last level. And then after that, I will use, it, use the, just keeping track of some of the last level, right? So Q, first we will put the root node, right? And then the last level, we don't know yet. And so we will keep going through the Q while it's not empty. And we will pop from the Q. So so we will explore, we will basically go through the current level. And so let's just take the length of it. So it's like this Q. And then we'll just go through them. So we will keep popping until we extract the entire current level so that would be just popping from the queue and we'll go through the children of that node so that would be this node here and so we'll go through its children so node dot left and node dot right and we check if that node exists if it's not a leaf node so we check if child really exists if it is then we put it in the next level and so we need to initialize um, a variable for the next level right so we are this here we are processing current level, right? And then now the next level we will add the child. And so now we wanna explore the this the children of this level, and so we replace the queue with that level so that we can explore it next, right? And to keep track of the last level, well we just check if this is so if next level is empty, that means the, this is not. That means the last level was the one before, right? But if it's not empty, then maybe this is the last level because maybe when we go again, we will get an empty list, right? So we'll keep track of this as the last level. And for Python, just so that we don't override it, we don't override last level when we set next level to empty. We do this so that it gets copied. And at the end, when we exit the queue. That means that, so this basically here is equivalent to next level is equal to zero, right? And is not equal to zero, I mean. So this is equivalent to saying that length of next level, which basically means it contains some values, right? And so if this contains values, that means it's maybe the last level. If we explore again and we find new element, then we will um, override it, right? And so at the end, we can just return the sum of the last level. And so that would be node dabal for node in the last level. And that's pretty much it for this BFS solution. Yep, I forgot this. <coughs> So that passes. 
Um, so the other way I said we can solve this is let's just, we don't actually need to keep track of last level. We just need the sum, right? So let's just keep track of the sum. Um, and then here, that means that we initialize, just like we initialize the last level every time. So let's initialize this to zero. And then let's add the node value, right? And then here we could just, instead of doing this, we can just return the last s. Pretty much, right? So the, the when q is empty, we want enter, and so we want override s. So s would be whatever sum was for the last level. Um, and that's pretty much it. Okay, let's submit. Okay, so this passes. Um, the other way we can solve this is using DFS, right? So how would we um, how would we do that? So we can do that by just keeping track of the max depth, right? Okay, so finding the max depth, and for every um, for every value, so essentially we will pass the depth to a DF, our DFS method, right? And basically, whenever we are at a at a depth that is bigger than the max depth that we define so essentially what we will do is we have these two variables here so we'd have a dfs function that go goes through the node and has the current depth right and then we would have a main variable that is called max depth right and so if the depth is is bigger than the max depth that we had so far that means we have a new max depth that means that this here wasn't the deepest level all right and so to do that, then that means we can reset our sum. So we'd have another variable that keeps track of the overall sum of the deepest level. So this would be the deepest level sum, right? And so here, that means this is not the deepest The This one wasn't the deepest level. And so we'll call it just res, actually. So we'll initialize it to zero. So we'll reinitialize it to zero and then add the current node because maybe that's the last level and that's this is just equivalent to doing this but otherwise if it's equal then if it's equal to the max depth the current max depth that basically means maybe this is the part of the deepest level so we will need to add it and not override the res value right otherwise that means it's smaller right so that means that we shouldn't include it, right? It's not part of the deepest level. And that's pretty much it. And then we will iterate on the smaller node that left. So the children of a node would have depth plus one, right? Because that's the next level. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, and so by keeping, um, by passing the depth to the DFS and keeping track of these as, um, as not part of the function, we will um, we will be able to find the 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 sum for the deepest level, right? So to do that here, let's define the function. So um, we need our DFS function, right? So node and depth, and if the current de the depth of the node is bigger than let's define our max depth here. So self dot max depth starts out as zero and then the sum so this is this represents the sum of the deepest level and we will start out by calling dfs on the root which has depth zero right and so we will here have our so if the depth, the current depth is bigger, right? The max depth, that means we have a new deeper level. So, which means we need to say that the sum of the deepest level now contains just that node value, right? So that we can override whatever sum we added before. <coughs> Otherwise, if depth is equal to self dot max depth, well, that means this node here is part of the, maybe part of the deepest level. 
until we find a depth that is bigger. If we don't, then this is part of the deepest level. So we say sub.res plus node.va. Otherwise, that means the depth is smaller than the max depth. So we don't care about it. It's not part of the deepest level. And now we explore the children. So node.left and depth. The, ne the depth of the child is depth plus one and we explore the right node and that's pretty much it. And at the end, we need to return just max depth <coughs> here. So, so sorry, here I, the DFS doesn't return anything. It's the self that is that we need to return. That's the sum that we are looking for. Um, yeah, so I forgot to handle the base case here, which is if we are at a, maybe if we, if we get past, let's say root is nil, um, we will need to just return, right? So if the node is null, we just need to return. There is no need to calculate anything. Um, okay, there is a slight. So here I forgot to replace the max depth, right? So if the, um, here I forgot to replace the max depth. So now max depth becomes depth, right? Okay, so that passes. Um, yeah, so essentially just keeping track of max depth so that we can know if the, if a depth is um, is part of the this current deepest level that we know of or if it, we find a new deepest level. And essentially we'll keep track here of the sum. So if it's the same depth, we add the value to the sum. If not, we initialize it with the value of the node. And we explore with a curse on the children of the node. And that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so that's it for this video. Um, if you liked it, please uh, like and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching.